This is our model of an avalanche. By Monica and Shivarsha. Imagine this. Our model represents an actual mountain slope somewhere in the world that is at risk for an avalanche. But why? This area has probably experienced heavy snowfall and precipitation, causing excess weight buildup. Any small force or change could trigger this disaster due to its instability. Another possible geographical cause is the slant of the slope. If it is on a 25 degree to a 40 degree angle, the layers of heavy snow becomes even more unstable. And with factors such as cold temperatures, more heavy snowfall, and strong winds, this could happen to the slope. Our avalanche representation could be categorized as a level 2 avalanche. If this were to occur near roads or buildings, material damage would be caused. It destroyed the trees in its path, as shown by the twigs, and covered any objects like the rock in its way. But this could have been predicted beforehand through the analysis of the possible weather patterns and observations of the pre-existing hazards. It could have also been prevented through the use of objects, such as nets and deflectors, to divert the snow so that excess accumulation does not occur. All in all, Avalanches can be catastrophic under bad conditions, but we can always find ways to make them less harmful.